Hello there, this is Toe of Games and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we got our starter Pokemon, uh, namely Spinachir, and we caught another Pokemon, Bolt, to join our party so that I would have more than one Pokemon uh, to begin with. And we went through a few routes, uh, the Viridian Forest, and now we're in Pewter City. And before we challenge the gym, which is over there on the other side of the fence, we're going to do a little bit of exploration. Starting from this house over here. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught to them by people. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has a status problem. Sleep, poison, burn or, burn or paralysis. Those are all effective, but catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. That is true. There are some moves that can only be taught via a move tutor. Uh, there aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here, they're all like bug catchers, you know, just hobbyists. But pewter, pewter gyms rock, it's unlike that, no one bit. Yeah, he doesn't have any, um, any bug Pokemon, but we'll see. Psst, do you know what I'm doing? Yes. That's right, it's hard work. Um, I'm spraying Repel to keep wild Pokemon out of my garden. Yes, by spraying Repel you can avoid wild encounters. And we will definitely use that to our advantage. Did you check out the museum? No. Really, you absolutely have to go. Okay, and he takes us right to the museum. Well, I was gonna go there anyway, so... That's fine. And this is it, the museum. You have to pay to get in. It's worth it. See you around. Well, since we're here, we might as well go to the Pewter Museum of Science. Yes, yes, it's fifty dollars for a ch child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Yes, I would. Aerodactyl fossil. Cabotops fossil, okay. Nice little museum here. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Well, Aerodactyl is not a dragon. He's a rock flying type, but... Uh, that's fine. What do you have to say? Yeah, a Pikachu, a, Pik a Pikachu soon, I promise. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Well, you can go to the Vir Viridian Forest, as I believe there are Pikachu there. This month we're running a space exhibit. A space exhibit, eh? With one model of a space shuttle and these. A meteorite that fell on my moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. Okay. Are you? July 12th. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that, that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. Oh, it's so ironic that. The moon landing was actually in black and white, and not in color TV, uh, and, and not uh, broadcasted in color. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Well, it can make certain Pokémon evolve. Maybe we'll get to see seed used later on. We'll see. Let's see about that. For now, though, we're done with the museum. Uh, there is something here I want to do. Yes, there are some hidden items all over the world map, um, and that right there was a Pokeball. Mm -hmm. Kind of useful for now, since we don't have that much money, and we kind of need to have Pokeballs at all times. Nidoran, sit! Nidoran says bow bow, like a dog or something? Bow bow, okay. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. Well, if you have a gym in the city, you could just challenge the gym for a badge. Um, if a Pokemon is traded, uh, it may not obey you if you're too high level without the required badges. Uh, this here is a tree, we can only cut it down after we get a certain move later on in the game. So we're gonna have to revisit this area. And if we try to go here, you're a trainer, right? Rock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. 
this guy will take us with him to see the gym and he will not let us leave the city un until we actually uh, battled and defeated Rock, the gym leader. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. In the original red and blue games, I think uh, the guy would actually walk here, this way, and through the fence <laughs> when he was done talking. I, I believe that was the case. Clefairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Aliens, you say? Okay. Now that we're done exploring, we're going to enter the gym here. This gym battle is going to be a breeze since we chose spinach here. As we will demonstrate with the first uh, trainer over here we have to defeat. Camper Lion. Since our Geodude, and Geodude being rock and ground type is four times weak against grass moves. So yeah, there you have it. Easy. Easy win for spinach here. And we get a level as well. If you choose either Bulbasaur or Squirtle, this gym is going to be easy. If you choose Charmander, however, it can be a bit of a challenge. Because uh, ground and rock types are good against fire types, that sort of way it works. But as it is, we can easily defeat these two Pokemon. We did suffer one hit, but... Yeah. I don't think that will matter, though. I think we're still ready to challenge Brock. So, you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock-hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock-hard and have true grit determination. That's right. My Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha, you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. This is a really unimpressive gym to look at since it's just like one aisle with Brock on the other end. But, well, at least he has confidence, so he's sort of... Uh, not that that's gonna help him, help him any because we're gonna totally destroy his team. Oh, he had so much confidence. But he is so weak against Spinach here. Even if he's two levels higher, we are going to demolish his Onyx. And that's how easy it is. Really, it's like it, it's really easy if you have Bulbasaur. Or even Squirtle. Squirtle is also a really good uh, chew decision for this fight. As proof of your victory, I confer you on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Yay, we get the Boulder Badge. The first badge, and that wasn't even, like, second episode, and already we have one badge. Pretty well. Well done here. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the Move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the Move Flash to use it. Wait, take this with you. And we get our first TM. TMs teach uh, moves to Pokemon. A TM, a technical machine, contains a technique for Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I just said. Using a TM t teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use, so when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tool. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Rock Tomb is not a bad move, but I cannot teach it to anyone at the moment, and we are going to get better moves later on. Anyway, but it's it's not a bad move. Uh, it can be pretty useful. We're gonna go to Pokemon before we set forward uh, on our journey, because this guy here sells repels. And trust me, we're gonna need these repels. <laughs> we're gonna enter an area that is of that is infamous for the encounters it throws at your face. So, it'll be really nice to have repels there. And we're going to heal.
and with the healing out of the way, let's continue on our journey, quest, whatever it is. The quest to be the very best. Oh, purple. I'm glad I caught, caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here we go. We got the running shoes, finally. Yes, we can now run faster. Bye-bye. There's a letter attached. Dear Purple, here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. That is sweet indeed. Now, on this route, there are a lot of trainers to battle. I'm only going to battle the required ones, and maybe I'm going to battle the rest of them off-screen. But for now, we're going to switch in Bolt and do this required battle with Bolt because, because well, he's a flying type, and this guy is a bug catcher, so it's a good idea to send birds against worms. So that should work. Except but we don't have any flying type moves yet. I totally forgot about that. Kind of embarrassing. Yeah, and the category is faster than Bolt, even though Bolt has such a speedy name. Yeah, I hope we get a little skill at level 9. I'm not sure if we do. Let's hope so. Because I would really like something like Peck. I think Peck is the next move that Bolt will learn. Oh, we got Gust. Okay, that, that's fine. Gust is okay. So now we have an actual move against these guys. Yes. About time. I think in Generation 1, uh, Gust was a normal type, which was changed to Flying type. The version I'm playing now, of course, it's, it's from the third generation, but it's the remake of the first Pokemon game. Probably you know. But just putting it out there in case someone is wondering. And we grow a level. That is magnificent. And he still has one more Caterpie to go. These bug catchers. This guy could have evolved this Caterpie into a Butterfree already. Instead, he has deliberately kept it at level 10. Uh, but, or kept it as a Caterpie in level, on level 10, which makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, Caterpie doesn't even learn any moves if it's kept as a Caterpie, so there's no reason to keep it as a Caterpie. Oh well, we won the battle, so I guess it doesn't make a difference to us. Now here's... Uh, we can either challenge this person here, or there's going to be another... Uh, you can't see her on the screen yet, but... Wait, is she even... Is that the right person? Because I was under the impression that Youngster Ben is actually... We should battle him? I'm a bit confused now. We're going to have to go through this battle and see, because... There's one part where uh, you have to choose out of two uh, uh, required battles, and if you choose the other one of them, you're actually going to have to do both, because she sort of traps you in such a position. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see soon, soon enough. We'll see. Bolt is getting levels like crazy. To think that he was level 2 when we got him. And now he's already sort of kicking ass. Well, it's just a Pidgey, but <laughs> still doing okay. Let's do Gust here. Let's see if it's more powerful. No, it's the same. We don't have anyone uh, really great against Ekans here. Ekans is a uh, poison type. So we would need like a psychic attack against it or a ground. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, we are not going to let Bolt die. Oh. Ouch. That's indeed bad news. 
but I'm not gonna use a potion because I said in the first video I think that I'm not gonna use potions unless the trainer uses potions so yeah that's my mistake there well at least spinach will get some luck. levels here Hold on, one level I don't believe it Okay, yeah, it was actually out of these two guys you have to choose one. Okay, I made a mistake. I'm just gonna heal and be right back. Okay, we're back and we are going to fight this bucket catcher. Because if we try to go back past her, past him, the woman will, or the girl will see us and uh, battle us instead. So we're gonna do it like this. It's another very interesting battle. Just another Weedle. And since our Bolt, since Bolt has gained some levels here, he can finally one-shot these things with his flying type move. Kakuna is probably not gonna go down because it's got higher defenses. Yeah, as I thought, and it's only gonna do hard, so... Well, we're gonna deal with it. And there he goes. Not that difficult, and Bolt is gaining levels like crazy here. Caterpie has better defenses than Weedle, unfortunately for us. And it can also go faster after it does string shots. Not that it makes any difference, I mean, I'm not scared of these Pokemon at all. And Metapod. At least it's like, at least the Metapod has been leveled up, <laughs> or, or like a it, it's an evolved Pokemon at least, so... Come on, finish it. Do it, Bolt. Yes, and we are done here. And Bolt is level 13 and learns Quick Attack. I had a new Pokemon. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. Uh, or if you had evolved, if you had trained your current ones a little better. Now, this here is not required, of course, but you can find an Orange Berry in the in the grass, the dark patch of grass, grass over there. There are usually hidden items, usually uh, berries. I'm not sure if we have to fight. No, we're gonna have to, we're not gonna have to fight that guy. So we can just. Oh my goodness! I am an Idiot! Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? No, I did not. That battle was not interesting in the slightest. It was just, I think, two PGs. Uh, we're gonna have to fight this guy. So we're gonna show this battle. There's a lot of battles in these Pokemon, in all Pokemon games, basically, because like most of the Pokemon games. Uh, basically consists of battling. It's just a matter of leveling up and whatnot. So that's why I'm showing just the required battles and I'm gonna skip the uh, unrequired ones. Because it'll be really boring to just look at all these battles. I mean, even, even just the required battles, it's quite a lot to watch, I, I bet. But these guys you're gonna have to fight anyway, so... Not that it makes any difference, I mean, it's just Metapods, Caterpies, Weedles... With a few occasional PG thrown in. Yeah, these guys are not very competent Pokemon trainers. And we are done. Done like dinner. 
indeed. I always like that line. And now this girl will also battle us if she sees us, but we're gonna zip right through. Right past her. This guy's not gonna fight us. Phew, I better take a rest. Ah, the tunnel from Cerulean take, takes a lot out of you. Well, we're gonna see for ourselves soon enough. What, what do you have to say? Oh wow, that's the boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. He's not just tough. tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Okay. Never give up my dreams. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon, Geodude. Geodude is a cool Pokemon, I like him. And here we find a person berry. We're gonna run into Geodudes really soon. Before that though, we're gonna heal up at this Pokemon Center. Uh, this Pokemon Center is a bit interesting because there's um, there's uh, this guy on the left who who wants to sell a Magikarp to us for 500, but it's not a good deal because Magikarp is useless uh, until you level up Magikarp enough to make it a Gyarados. Okay, set six Pokeballs in my belt. Yeah, that'll do it. At most, you can have uh, you can have six Pokemon with you. Yes. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Sometimes you'll have too many Pokemon with you and you to add any more. In that case, you should just store some using any PC. Really simple stuff here. Okay. We are ready to enter Mount Moon. This place known, is known for constant encounters with Zubats, which is why I just used a Repel here. Now that we have a Repel, we're not gonna have to worry about encounters. Also, there's a lot of trainers here. And I will, s I will skip the ones that are not required. Oh, you're not, a, you're not required either. Mm, that's a surprise. Repels effects for off. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. We're gonna have to renew the repels constantly. And here we run into... We can actually skip him. However, he is the first team rocket battle in the game, so I think we're gonna fight him nonetheless. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. It's kind of an abrupt uh, introduction to Team Rocket, actually, when you think about it. it just sort of, they just sort of appear. There was that guy talking about Team Rocket in the Pokemon Center, but yeah, the transition, like, all of a sudden we just face them with no real reason. Uh, yeah, spinach is awesome as usual against ground types. And he still has a red tata. We're just gonna get Bolt to do the work there. I'm just gonna try and keep uh, them at even levels. This is why I wanted to have two Pokemon to start with. So I can at least uh, divide the experience between them. So it's not just like the start of getting super powerful. <laughs> And then everyone else is weak. And Bolt is leveling up nicely here. Zubat. Um, let's keep Bolt here, even though he's at high level. These guys, Zubats, they're all over the place. Zubat's, Zubat is definitely not a bad Pokemon, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna catch one because I already have Flying type, Bolt, and a Poison type. Spinach, so so Zuba would be kind of useless to my to my team personally now. I blew it. These guys can be really incompetent sometimes. All right, here. Oh, we're gonna have to renew our repel. Here, this guy. We're gonna have to be really careful. If we try to run, I think he will turn around and spot us. At least he's predictable and his movements. Rare candy! You can uh, increase a Pokémon's level by one with this, which is really useful. Especially in the later game, when it takes forever to level up a Pokémon. 
Hi, I'm ex excavating for fossils here under my moon. Sometimes Brock of Pewter City, Pewter Jim, lends me a hand. We're talking a lot about Brock here. Oh, yep. Not gonna battle you. Again, we're gonna have to... another team rocket grunt here we can just skip him and we get thief TM um, it's not a very good move to be honest it's um, used to uh, steal an item held by another Pokemon but in this game in particular few enemies actually have an item and it's not a powerful move either. However, because it's a dark type move and I don't have any other dark type moves, I'm gonna teach it to Bolt actually, just to get a little bit of coverage. I know it's not a very good move, but uh, we're gonna replace Tackle because Tackle is not a very good move. So now we have Thief to provide us with some coverage at, at least, you know, against psychic types and uh, anything like that we also have bullet seed but I'm not gonna use it on spinach because he already has fine web that guy is skippable uh, I think also yes he's also skippable you can actually get through really fast through through this uh, area Here we find something interesting, a revive. At a really early phase of the game as well, you can basically revive a fainted Pokemon, as the uh, as the name suggests. And we can also skip that guy. Wow, there's like very few required battle. <coughs> there's very few required battles here. This guy is required though. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokémon from them will earn us huge riches. I have to say that Team Rocket is my favorite uh, like group of villains from any Pokémon game because I think their motivations make the most sense. I mean, they basically just want to steal Pokémon for profit. Um, which makes sense, as opposed to like wanting to expand the land mass like in uh, the Hoenn games or or uh, I don't know liberate Pokemon but still keeping them in Pokeballs and stuff yeah I, l I like Team Rocket because as a concept I think they make most sense okay I'm not gonna risk Bolt hitting himself you can luckily get a, get rid of uh, confusion by switching Pokemon. Yeah, do that. It's not gonna help you any because well, yeah, let's just tackle here. Oh, critical hit! <laughs> critical hits have a tendency to happen whenever they're least needed. Ah, uh, now I'm mad. You can be mad all you want. This guy is definitely required. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Aren't you being greedy? It's our task to put him in his place by using Gust. Yeah, Grimer is kind of defensive, so we're not gonna have much. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh, poison gas. That is unfortunate. It's basically gonna be poison bolt. <laughs> That's as simple as it can get. We will be able to take it down now, though. Or not. Oh my goodness. It's living with like 1 HP. Luckily, we have a quick attack to finish it off. And we get a level. Okay, Voltar. For this, I think Spinach will do just fine. Besides, he needs some levels now. 
Electric type. Well, I'm just gonna do Vine Web. I think it should do a fair enough of damage. Fair, fair amount of damage, that is. Oh, Screech. That lowers defense drastically. Haha, you missed with tackle. It's like five percent chance. And spinach is level fifteen. We're trying to learn poison powder. Okay, that is a nice little move there. I like poison. It's one of my favorite uh, status effects in pretty much any RPG. I like slip damage and stuff like that. Also trying to learn Sleep Powder. Also a really good move. I think we're gonna replace Tackle. Okay, we have Sleep Powder. Okay, Coffin is next. Uh, we're gonna stick with Spinach here. Spinach is a Vine Whip will do like nothing against Coffin, but that's why we have Leech Seed. And while we're at it, we might as well put it to sleep. I intend to switch to Bolt after this. So we might as well. I know it's kind of slow, but... And here we get some help. Let's switch to Bolt. The Leech Seed will keep him alive. Oh my goodness, are you serious? That wasn't like even one turn or... Oh. Okay. Fine, we'll just switch back to Spinach. Smog. That's gonna do some damage. I guess we might as well just use Vine Whip here. Okay, it actually does a lot of damage considering how it resists grass-type moves, the co coffin. Okay, and we are done. Done like dinner. Okay, I'll share. You better share. We'll each take a fossil, no being greedy. Now you can either choose the Helix fossil, which will give you an Omanyte later on in the game, or the Dome fossil, which will give you Kabuto. Uh, I have always been a bit partial to uh, the Helix fossil, because I like Omanyte a lot. Alright, this fossil is mine. Why do we have to bother with... Oh, okay. Bolt fainted, unfortunately. Uh, we got an antidote. And with that, Mount Moon is done. That wasn't that bad. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we're gonna continue to Cerulean City and challenge, hopefully, another gym leader. Things are progressing quite fast here, actually. So, see you guys next time.